up guys, my name is Corinne and I'm the owner and photographer at Wonderland Boudoir located in Dallas, Texas. And today I'm going to bring you another installment of like what to do for boudoir sessions, right? And today I'm going to give you six solid excuses you can use to sneak out for your boudoir session. I can't tell you how many different times women have like sent me messages or called me and said, hey, like I really want to do the session, but I need a really good excuse to sneak out the house. So today I'm going to give you six excuses that are going to be amazing for your boudoir session. Tip number one, schedule your boudoir session when you know your partner's going to be busy. I know a lot of ladies don't like telling white lies to their partner about what they're going to be doing. However, if you don't want to lie, just schedule your session when you know he's going to be busy. I know it's hard to get off work during the week, but that might be a good way for you to do a boudoir session. Or if you know that he hangs out with his friends and plays basketball from like 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. every Saturday or Sunday, schedule your boudoir session during that time period. That way, you don't have to make up some tell or some fib about what you did, or I mean, what you're doing during that time period and he will just live his life like he always lives it every Saturday or Sunday. Tip number two, say you're going to a girl's day. A girl's day is a solid excuse to have a boudoir session during this time. If your partner asks, hey, what are you doing? You can say, hey, we're having a late lunch and then we're going to see a long movie. That helps you in two ways because it's less likely for you to get calls during that time period because he knows that you're going to be with your friends so you're less likely to pick up. Also because you're going to see a movie during that time period, you can't talk during the movies, so that's rude. So it is more than likely that he will not you know, call you during that time period. And if he's a big movie buff, pick some long movie that he knows that you know that he's not going to be interested in. So plan a girl's day. Tip number three, tell him you're going to brunch. Yes, brunch is a great excuse, and this excuse is a lot like the girls, um, the girls' day. This one's a little bit different because with brunch, if you need to go to your boudoir session a little bit earlier in the day, this is a perfect excuse for that. You can just say, hey, I'm going to a brunch with my girls, and this excuse will work because he knows you're with friends. So it's less likely he will call you, and it's less likely that he'll invite himself to your brunch. Tip number four, tell him that you're going to get your hair done. Yes, now this is an excellent excuse to sneak out the house. Because as we know as women, a lot of salons take three, four, five hours to get your hair done. So this will give you a good amount of time to do a successful boudoir session and still be back in time. The double pro of this particular excuse is when you do your boudoir session, you're going to have your hair and makeup done anyway. So when you get home and you're looking super fabulous, you can just say, you oh, know, they did a great job. And then to explain the makeup, you can just say, hey, they had a new makeup artist there and she just wanted to try something on me. so. I said, let's do it. So saying I'm gonna go get my hair done is a valid excuse to sneak out for a boudoir session. Tip number five, tell him that you're going to a spa day. Use an excuse, say your best friend Kim is having a milestone birthday and you wanna treat her to a spa day or perhaps someone else had just got engaged and as a congratulatory present you want to say hey i'm going to go on a spa day the great thing about this is that your significant other is going to know that because you're at a spa you're getting into massages you're having fun you're eating out you will not have your phone on you so you have a valid excuse of why you're not picking up and also since they know it's a present that you're giving to someone else, it is least likely that they will invite themselves onto your girls' spa day. Tip number six, tell them you're doing volunteer work. Yes, volunteer work and you're working with um, a particular organization that he can't join you with because he's going to need clearance for. A lot of times um, children's organizations or women's shelters 
um, will require people to have pre-authorization before they can go and help them out. So you can say, hey, listen, I got pre-authorized for this. Like, you can't join me, I'm sorry. So you can use this uh, six, seven, eight hours to go and get your boudoir session done. And when you come back with your hair done and your makeup done, you can just say, hey, you know, they brought in a hair stylist and makeup artist in today to kind of treat the ladies. So saying that you're going to a volunteer activity is a good idea for sneaking up for a boudoir session. All right, guys, so these were six ideas that will help you sneak out for your boudoir session. In the comments below, or in the description, all that good stuff below, I've listed the blog post that links this, and on top of that, it lists the pros and cons for each one of these excuses. So you'll get a little bit more detail of how to make these excuses more effective for you. Okay, again, you guys can catch me on all the socials at Wonderland Boudoir. The website is wonderlandboudoir.com. If you want to book a session with me, go ahead and do that. That'd be awesome. And yes, I'm also the photographer for the Urban Jungle, so you can definitely check me out there on Instagram. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. But do me a favor, follow me on all the socials, and you guys have an amazing day. Bye!